Hi, Violet here. I just posted a video with some different gifts that I made for a friend last Christmas, but I took my videos down, so I'm reposting some of them. I wanted to show you some more of the crocheted teacups, and I mentioned that I had seen them on Dee's channel, and I also will put the link below for her channel and the lady that she got the pattern from on YouTube. Uh, since then, I've been making a different ones. This one is with a sparkle yarn, and I put just some f uh, fiber fill and a flower in there. So there's the little handle. And to match that, I've been working on these little frames where you take a bracelet or something round and crochet around it and then I'll, I'll mount a little picture and, and decorate them. I also have some of these shape so I've been working on a few of those too so I have a lavender one and a blue one and I've got a pink one started somewhere. So I've done more of these teacups besides that one. I did some more of the ones with the white and the silver in the yarn this is the yarn here. It's a cotton yarn and this teacup is in the process. It, I've got several that I'm still working on. I like making them. They're easy to crochet with because it's heavier yarn like it's um, a Christmas yarn I guess with the silver threads through but they make really nice teacups. And I made this little flower a few years ago in this little white flower but I didn't make that. That's real fine crochet. So there's that one. I've also been working on some of the frames with uh, the same yarn to match. This is another one. It's the same yarns. You can use any yarns as far as that goes. And then I just put in one of my handmade flowers. This one is a, a print using my pleater and ruffler. I was going to try that with pleated fabrics. This isn't the best one, but it's... Uh, it's pretty, so I just stuck it in the top. But they're really nice. I did several for gifts last year. Here's another one that's in the process. The the saucer is crocheted right on it, and then you start. You do the saucer first, and then you start building up the teacup, and then you add the handle. So I've got several going, and I just wanted to show you this flower I made a while back. It's made with. Um, that I not eyelash yarn but the yarn that has all the holes in it and I kind of not wearing those things anymore so I tried to make a flower with it and I just put this um, this yarn over top of some satin and sewed it there and then gathered it it's kind of interesting I don't think I'd make a lot of them but um here's another flower I don't know if I showed this one when I was going to use the printed fabrics. This one is all pleated with a big bling. Um, I did a couple more with uh, some lavender fabric. I made this with that clay stuff that you bake in the oven. And this is just a little center I did with pearls and then glued a little ceramic rose on there. They almost look blue in the camera but they're lavender. I did a few others too using the pleater. I tried with ribbon. That kind of came nice. And I did a few with uh, with satin. I just uh, wound them up. And then I tried my hand at these little lollipop flowers, but mixed results. They're pretty, but I just I'm not a big fan of the melted technique. I haven't got it down pat. I'm so worried about setting the house on fire or burning myself or <laughs> whatever. But I did manage two little sweet blue ones. <laughs> so that's what I've been up to lately. And I've got some other projects that I'm working on. So I will leave the links below if you want to check out the pattern for the teacup. I found it quite easy to follow. And the results are really nice. And they make nice little gifts. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.